Lesson 6 Homework Draw an area model, then solve using the standard algorithm. Use arrows to match the partial, partial products from your area model to the partial products in the algorithm. So 27 times 36. Let's start with the area model. Now we have 27, which is two digits, and 36, which is two digits, which means that our area model is going to be a two by two model. So we have 27, and if we break that down, it's 20 plus 7, and 36, it's 30 plus 6. You could switch them. You could have 30 and 6 at the top and 20 and 7 down the side. It doesn't matter what order. So we'll start and multiply in the top left corner. So 30 times 20 is equal to 600. And then we have 30 times 7 is equal to 210. Down here we have 20 times 6 is equal to 120. And 7 times 6 is equal to 42. So then if we add everything together, let's add down the sides here. 600 plus 210, that's 810. And 120 plus 42, that would be 162. If we add those two together, we get 972. So let's see if that's what we get with the standard algorithm. So we're going to start with the 6 in the 1's place and multiply 27 from left to right. So 6 times 7 is 42. Carry the 4. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 4 is 16. So there's our 162 right there. We'll draw the aerial. Now we're moving on to the 10's place. And I'm going to get rid of that 4 so I don't get confused. Since we're on the 10's place, I'm going to add a 0 as my placeholder so that when we're multiplying, we start right here in the 10's place. So 3 times 7 is 21. Carry the 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 2 is 8. So there's our 810. And if we add them together, 2 plus 2, 2 plus 0 is 2. 6 plus 1 is 7. 1 plus 8 is 9. So we get 972. B, 527 times 36. So here we have three digits by two digits. So we're going to have a 3 by 2 or a 2 by 3 rectangle. And the 527 is going to have to go on top here because it has three spaces for our 527 and then 36. So I'm just going to start and go across the top. So 500. 30 times 500 is equal to 15 plus 3 zeros, 15,000. 30 times 20 equals 600. And 30 times 7 equals 210. Then if we go down to the bottom row, we have... 6 times 500 equals 30 with two zeros, so 3,000. 6 times 20 equals 120. And 6 times 7 equals 42. So if we add them up, we have 600 plus 210 is 810 plus 15,000. So we have 15,810. And then 3,000 plus 120 plus 42. Well, 120 plus 42, we know that's 162. Plus 3,000 would be 3,162. And then if we add those together, get 18,972. Let's see if that's what we get with our standard algorithm. I used a lot of space, so I'm going to have to rewrite it over here. So 527 times 36. So we'll start in the ones place. 6 times 7 is 42. Carry the 4. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 4 is 16. Carry the 1. 6 times 5 is 30. Plus 1 is 31. 
So there's our 3,162. Now I'm done with the ones place, onto the tens, put a zero. I'm going to get rid of what I carried so that I don't get confused and add those later on. 3 times 7 is 21, carry the 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. 3 times 5 is 15, so 15,810, there it is. If I add it together, 18,972. Okay, now here we just get to use the standard algorithm. So 649 times 53. 3 times 9 is 27, carry the 2. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19. I'm going to get rid of what I carried. Moving on to the 10's place, so I'll put a 0. 5 times 9 is 45, carry the 4. four t 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4, 24. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 2 is 32. Then we need to add. We should get 34,397. B, 496 times 53. Start in the ones place with a 3. 3 times 6 is 18. Carry the 1. 3 times 9 is 27, plus 1 is 28. Carry the 2. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2, 14. Now we're done with the 3. I'm going to erase what I carried and move on to the tens place, which means I need a placeholder. 5 times 6 is 30. Carry the 3. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 3 is 48. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4, 24. Add them together. 26,288. C, 758 times 46. Start in the ones place, 6 times 8 is 48. Carry the 4. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 4 is 34. Carry the 3. 6 times 7 is 42, plus 3, 45. Erase what I carried. And put a 0 as my placeholder. Moving on to the 4. 4 times 8 is 32. Carry the 3. 4 times 5 is is 20 plus 3 is 23. 4 times 7 is 28 plus 2 is 30. We add them together. 34,868. Part D, 529 times 48. this so it doesn't look like a 6. Okay, start with the 8. 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 7 would be 23. And then 8 times 5 is 40 plus 2 is 42. Get rid of my I carried, put my zero down because we're multiplying in the tens place now. Four times nine is 36, carry the three. Four times two is eight, plus three is 11, carry the one. Four times five is 20, plus one is 21. Add it together. Should get 25,392. Number three, each of the 25 students in Mr. McDaniel's, McDonald's class sold 16 raffle tickets. If each ticket cost $15, how much money did Mr. McDonald's students raise? All right, so each of the 25 students, they all sold 16 raffle tickets. So let's first figure out how many raffle tickets they sold. 
So we're going to multiply to figure that out. 25 times 16. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15. Done with the 1's place, on to the 10's place. Put my placeholder down. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. Add it together. So they sold 400 tickets. But each ticket was $15. So 400 tickets at $15 each. We're going to multiply. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 4 is 20. On to the 1's place, or the 10's place. So I'll put my placeholder. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 4 is 4. Add it together, we get $6,000 would be how much the money they raised. Number four, Jason buys a car and pays by installments. Each installment is $567 per month. After 48 months, he still owed $1,250. What was the total price of his car? So, so far, He's had it for 48 months and he's paid $567 per month. So to figure out how much he's paid total, let's multiply that together. 567 times 48. So eight times seven is 56. Eight times six is 48 plus five is 53. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 5 is 45. Get rid of what I carried. Add a 0 because now we're in the tens place. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 2 is 26. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22. 6 plus 0 is 6, 3 plus 8 is 11. 5 plus 6 is 11, plus 1 is 12. 5 plus 2 is 7. So, so far, he spent $27,216 on his car, but he still owes $1,250. So, I'm going to add $1,250 to this to figure out how much the car cost total. So, 6 plus 0 is 6. 1 plus 5 is 6. 2 plus 2 is 4. 7 plus 1 is 8. Bring down the 2. So the total car cost is $28,466.